Well, the Huskies recover from a tough start. Trailed at the half, were down by as many as 13, but they pull away for an 84-76 win over Cal State Fullerton on this New Year's night, along with Bill Walton, who's been hitting I'm me Bill. all night. Roxy and we're Burst, super and joined lucky to be Noel. joined by Jalen Noel here. All right, Jalen, you had the tough start tonight. You get down by as many as 13 early in the second half. What changed? What was the difference to get you guys going? Well, you know, uh, coming out, uh, we were kind of sluggish, so that our, our main focus was to pick up our energy and just, you know, attack on defense because they were getting any lane they wanted, really, uh, in the beginning of the uh, first and second half. So we just uh, made sure that we took away the three and made sure that they didn't attack the points of attack that they wanted to. So, Jalen, the coach told us before the game he's concerned about slow starts. He clearly told you guys, how yeah. come we don't see what we saw in the second half from the opening tip, please? Are you tired? Man, I have no idea. We definitely got to uh, pick that up coming into conference play. But, you know, we're going to definitely get 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 work working on that during practice. So, yeah. Jalen, what does it mean to you to play in front of these great raucous fans here at Alaska Airlines Arena? Oh, man, it's great. They give us they give us all the confidence in the world. When we're coming out and we're playing uh, even sluggish, they were still with us, telling us to pick it up. And, you know, we listened to them in the second half. And what about the job that David Chris did in terms of lighting it up from behind the three-point line? He's normally your setup guy. You're the finisher. Oh, man, he, he did a great job. I mean, you know, he can, he can do all that. So, you know, it's just a matter of how the game is going. So this day, uh, I was able to get him the ball, and he was able to make shots down, which is something that he's really good at. This was the final non-conference game. You start league play with your rival Washington State coming up on Saturday. What are your thoughts about this team right now heading into league play? Oh, man, we're, we're, we're great, man. We, uh, we're ready. We're definitely uh, picking up on defense. We're, we're just ready, man, uh, coming in and getting ready to play Washington State. It's going to be a fun year. Have you seen the new freshman phenom down in Tempe, Arizona, Lou Dort from Canada? I have not. Okay, no, you I will this season. I'm looking oh, yeah. forward to that matchup. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Okay, what's it like playing with Sam Timmons out there? What does he mean to this team? Oh, man, he's, he's really a big body. He's, he's one of our energy guys. So when, when we're down, he's the main dude telling us, you know what, we got to pick it up. And, and you know, he, he was the one that was doing that today. So that was the reason why we were able to win, win the way we did. If Roxy Bernstein was guarding you, what would you do to him? <laughs> What you oh. just did to me. Do you know who Roxy Bernstein is? I have no idea who that is, but I mean, I, I, I think I'm going to find out. You're talking to him. Are you going to tell me? <laughs> I, I'm the other guy. If everybody knows Bill, I'm other guy. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean we, could, we could find out. Okay. <laughs> no, let's not find out, all right, Caitlin? <laughs> so what has Matisse Thibel taught you? Oh, he's taught me uh, a lot on the defensive end. Uh, coming in, uh, you know, I was definitely the offensive guy, so... Um, he's been talking to me, telling me how, uh, you know, to read the defense because you guys know he gets those steals about like six, seven a game. So, uh, yeah, when, when he got that going and he, he's telling me, you know, I got to pick it up on that end too. So he's one of the main reasons why I'm picking up on the defensive end as well. How did you learn how to become such a great basketball player? Oh, Tom. Tom. Tom and family. Okay, so how good can this team be? I mean, you got, a, you got the bench guys are contributing right now, and you played a really tough non-conference schedule, but now you're coming in against the big boys here. Yeah. You're picked third in the conference to win it all. What are the realistic chances of this Husky team winning the conference of champions? Uh, we're very confident. We just need to come out and play uh, play the game we play. You know, we're not, we're not worried about any extra games. You just got to take it one game at a time. How'd your New Year's Eve go? Oh, it was great. Good. What'd you do? <laughs> we spent time with the team, man. We stayed at a hotel. Uh, yeah. Got to got to chill right. with the team. You know, it was it was a fun fun New Year. You should have come to church with Roxy and me. <laughs> oh man, I would have loved to. <laughs> well, great job tonight. Enjoy the win. Congratulations. We'll see you for conference play. All right. Thank you, guys. Jalen, you're fantastic. A great representative of the conference of champions and a UW Husky. 84-76. The Huskies arr, knock off arr, Cal State arr, Fullerton. Arr, 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 arr. Uh,